Here we are, 2012. We all depend on technology, and none of us know how to read and write code. It's not this kind of geeky, techy thing. What you're doing is empowering yourself. It's like a puzzle, and if you like puzzles and challenges, you're going to love coding. It's absolutely indispensable to so many of the things we're trying to do today. Whether you want to be the Prime Minister, a vet, or a social worker, technology is going to underpin all of those jobs. The internet is now everywhere. It's like water. It's transformed our world in 20 years. It shapes our countries, shapes our kind of social dynamics, uh, can innovate so much. And so if you have that toolkit, it means you have a lot of power to kind of come up with crazy ideas and make them real. I got my first computer when I was in sixth grade. Uh, I had a, a ZX81 personal computer. I coded because I didn't just want to use the program, I wanted to start writing them. That's why I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. You start small building something that you're interested in, and you just learn these lessons, and there aren't that many of them, and you, you just eventually can get to the point where you can do almost anything that you want. You're able to launch something, you know, create it and deliver it across the world in, in, in no time at all. It just unlocks all these, all these different possibilities. If you can code, you can take the ideas in your head and make them happen. So you can not just play Angry Birds, you can actually make your own Angry Birds. Or you can make visual effects in a film, or you can design a jet propulsion engine. It's all about possibilities. And if you want to change the world, technology is the best way. Great coders are to be